What's up, everybody? Welcome on back for round two of Heritage Baseball on release day. Let's see what we can find here in the second round. Where is my knife? There we go. Uh, before we get started, since this is a team break, I'm going to read off everybody in the spots you guys purchased. We have Matthew C. with the Diamondbacks, Matt M. with the Braves, Rockies, Angels, Brewers, Twins, Padres, and the Rangers, Joseph H. with the Orioles, Sean with the Red Sox, Charles with the Cubs, Ryan with the White Sox, William has the Reds and Royals, Vaughn with the Guardians, Aaron has the Tigers and Mariners, Scott with the Astros, Greg with the Dodgers, uh, Lisa with the Marlins, Eric with the Mets and Rays, uh, John has the Yankees, and BS with the Oakland A's and Phillies, Edward with the Pirates, Oscar with the Giants, Sean with the Cardinals, Alcisto with the Blue Jays, and finally Scott with the Nationals. Good luck everybody here in team break number two. We should run into two autos in this break. We only saw one in uh, the first half of this case, so hopefully we see two this time. But we did already hit our hot box. So we will not see those purple hot boxes in this round. Ooh, very nice. We are starting off with a 75 buyback. Going out to the Buckos with Doc Ellis. Oh, could you bring me a tray too? Jays. All right, now let's free our packs and get to ripping. Starting off with Yogi. And our first short print is going to be of the low number for Michael Kopech. And we got our first white border. It is going to Blake Rutherford on the white border short print. Oh, are you talking about with our new vertical camera? No, we switched uh, the ratio because when we started doing Fanatics, this is the ratio they use. So we switched uh, to this for YouTube. And we're going to have another low number short print. This one is going to Thai France and the Mariners. No, this is uh, the new ratio that we're using. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary with that one. Stanton on the new age performers. have another low number short print. This one is Adam Frazier going to the O's. And we're looking for some Blue Jays for you too. Another of the white border. This one is Michael Soroka. 
And Walker Bueller to finish that pack. We made a couple minor league starts, getting closer to coming back. Ooh, and it sucks for this guy, Yuri Perez. Gonna get si or, uh, Tommy John. That is a tough blow. He had a very good rookie year where uh, he has a lot of promise. Oh, very nice. Is this going to be a black and white? No, just the 23 highlights for Kirsch. Yeah, I, I put it to the side with the, the rest of them. Hey, what's up, Gabriel? Yeah, they did pretty good on this year for the 75 design. Okay, just a regular card. And they even put the short prints backwards. So it makes it much easier because uh, those that have ripped Heritage in the past, sometimes it was really, really hard to find the variations. Oh, this might be our first Chrome. It is very nice. It is going to Jordan Westberg on the Chrome uh, to 375 as well. So low numbered Chrome uh, on the silver for Jordan Westberg. And he is 284 of 375. So Westberg strikes in both our half cases. So very nice. Congrats to the O's on that one. And behind him, we have Francisco Lindor on the New Age Performers. Giriel on the low numbered short print. Then and now with Raleigh Fingers and Doval. <laughs> Everybody has their thing, right, Gabriel? <laughs> well, that is the first time I've heard Heritage described in that way. Another low number short print for Eli Morgan going out to the Guardians. Still looking for our auto or our mem. Let's hope we can start off with some ink. Ellie on the rookie card and behind him, Ozzy Albies. Is this going to be one of the white border black cards? It is. So that was something a little different. Let me see if I can zoom for you. Can't really see it clearly, but it says white border on the black border Ozzy Albies, which it, to me I find kind of comical. Yeah. Yeah, those have been the hot team so far in uh, the beginning of this case and our last half case. Max Scherzer on the New Age Performers. All right, come on, last couple packs. Are you going to give us a mem or are we going to see some ink? Another low number short print. This one is uh, Alexis Diaz. Baseball flashbacks for Hank Aaron. Mm -hmm. 
Matt Manning on the low number short print. Oh, we got mimmed, but it is a nice one with Tristan Casas on the Clubhouse Collection memorabilia card. So congrats to the Red Sox on the first mim of this six boxer. So the mims are up 1-0. Come on, Ink. Let's make that number a little closer by the end of these six boxes. New age performers for Fernando Tatis. And that is it for box number one. All right, box two. What do you got for us? Show us some ink. Ooh, we're starting off with our 75 buyback. This one is going to the Brew Crew with Tim Johnson on the buyback. Aaron Savali on the low number short print. White border for Hernandez. Ooh, very nice. We got our chrome. It is Austin Riley on the chrome to 999. 45 of 999. So going to the Braves with Austin Riley on the chrome. And there's a baseball flashback for Ron Guidry in there. Low number short uh, short print for Tyler Stevenson. Evan Carter on the rookie card. Zach Granke on the New Age Performers. Kodai Singa on the low, uh, low number short print. That's a good pairing with George Brett and Mike Schmidt. Then and now with uh, Joe Morgan and Ronald Acuna. Dean Kramer on the low number short print.
and we've been mimmed again. This one is going to the Strohs with Justin Verlander on the mim. So we'll see if we can find another short print in uh, the rest of box two because we have already got our Chrome card and our mim. Devers on the New Age Performers. Maybe have a black and white or image variation. Gary Sanchez on the low number short print. <clears throat> Carlos Santana on the white border. News flashbacks with a, a Apache helicopter. Interesting. Jordan Hicks on the low number short print. Juan Soto on the New Age Performers. He is off to a heck of a start there for his Yankee career. Highlight from the 2013 Most Valuable Players with Miggy Cabrera and Andrew McCutcheon. That was the year that uh, Miggy with the Triple Crown. Freddie Peralta on the low number short print. Oh, we got our black and white is going to the Orioles. They have been the team for these uh, two half casers. This one is Kyle Bradish on the black and white. Orioles and Braves all day long. Oh, yeah. At least uh, with this first case that we've uh, ripped open between these two team breaks. Orioles and Braves have been ahead of the rest. Ah, oh, Space Mountain. You know, Disneyland is right in our backyard here. Uh, another low number short print. This one is going to Rowdy Telez and the Brew Crew. And last pack here of box number two. Goldschmidt on the New Age Performers. And that is going to do it for box number two. All right, box three. Are you the one with some ink? I want to see an autograph. We are getting a, a box topper this time with Willie McCovey in the Padres uni for Willie.
low numbered short print for Duran going out to the Twins. Another low number short print for Luis Garcia for the Nationals. Christian Yelich on the white border. Then and now with Fred Lynn and Yoshida. Low number short print. This one is going to Brian Rocchio. Almost thought it was a variation. Salvi's uh, auto, the Facinley auto, is so you can barely see it in his jersey. Because that is another one of their short prints where they don't have the Facinley auto on the front. Bryce Harper on the New Age Performers. Jaron Duran on the low number short print. Two thousand five most valuable players with Pudge and uh, Albert Pujols. Ooh, what do we have here? Twenty three extra are highlights for the four hundred save for Craig Kimbrell. Austin Riley on the New Age Performers, followed by Henry Davis Rookie Card. Osvaldo Beto on the White Border. Baseball flashbacks. Luis Severino on the low number short print.
Gunner on the New Age Performers. Do you, do you guys see they called up Jackson yesterday as well? See if the, the Orioles can make it three rookie of the years in a row. Randy Orezarena on the low numbered short print. And I saw the three youngest players in baseball right now are all Jacksons with uh, Chirio and Paul. Ooh, very nice. We got our chrome. Paul Goldschmidt out of 575, 103 of 575 for Paul Goldschmidt. So we got a new team with a hit, the Cardinals, on some Goldie action. And then the other young Jackson, Merrill, over in San Diego. I don't know if you guys could hear that on the stream, but that was one of the longest yawns I've ever heard downstairs. Like, he is below us and, like, 30 feet away, and we could hear it up here. Get the man some coffee. Low number short print for Mitch Keller. He's Chewbacca. Yeah, he really is. He is Chewbacca. That is a... That's what he sounds like. <laughs> I think we're going to have to move them to next door. Oh, we got our ink. All right. We were not mend this time. Jordan Wicks on the autograph. Not a real one's auto here, but a nice autograph for the Cubbies for Jordan Wicks. So very nice. One auto and two mims is the count so far. Congrats to the Cubbies on the Jordan Wicks ink. And our last pack here of box number three. Freddie Freeman on the New Age Performers. Oh, what a star Freddie Freeman is. And that is it for box number three. All right, box four. What do you got for us? Can we get some more ink? Oh, yeah. Right. Look, let's see those. Yeah, see one of the, the true yeah, legends. Yeah. And our, oh, very nice. A very young Ecker, uh, Dennis Eckersley from the Cleveland days on our box hopper. The stash barely that grown in. rookie year? That I'm not 100% oh, on. Oh, God, though. no, it wasn't. I oh, thought he was a bit older. Yeah, his first year was in... 81. No, his rookie's in after 75, that's uh, what I was going to say. Because that had to be his, when he was still a starter. Yeah. In fact, yeah, let's go and see the Red Sox Cubs. Yeah, because that is one interesting thing about Eck. You, like, you remember him as a closer, but he spent a good chunk of time starting as well. You know what's funny is on the back of the card, they don't even mention when he played for the uh, Cleveland Indians. Tommy Henry on the low number short print to get us started here in box number four. Lindor on the New Age Performers. Tom Cosgrove on the low number short print. Well, by one of the World Series cards.
Martin Maldonado on the low number short print. White border for JP Martinez. Baseball flashbacks from McCovey. Pinch hit grand slam. Gabriel Arias on the low number short print. Nice JDOM rookie card in there. Acuna on the New Age Performers. See how he's going to follow up last year. Man. Oh. oh, one of the short friends? Yeah, uh, nickname variation. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Kerry Carpenter on the low number short print. And then Jeremy uh, found one of the nickname variations while he was going through the cards behind him. Uh, which team was that for? The Yankees. Okay, so it's going to be a Yankee card? Yeah, it's Anthony Rizzo. It's, it just says Tony on the bottom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, one of the nickname variations. Uh, it's going to be an Anthony Rizzo card for the Yankees. Tony, that's mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> it's not really a nickname. Was it on the back or in the name slot no, on the yeah, card? Look. Just says Tony at the bottom. Oh, okay, okay, Rizzo. that's good to know. Yeah. So the, some of the nickname variations, they will be on the front of the card. So I will keep an eye out for that. Cole Calhoun on the low number short print. Followed by Juan Soto in those pinstripes. He is looking for that Shohei type money in the offseason. Oh, we've been mimmed again, but it is going to the Padres with the, the camo jersey for Blake Snell on the clubhouse collection. So the MIMS are running away with it. Three MIMS to one auto so far. Aaron Otto on the New Age Performers. Ellie rookie card in there. Josiah Gray on the low number short print. On that inside the park home run Ellie hit the other day was pretty sweet. White border for Kyle Schwarber. Yelich on the New Age Performers. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if they just put them backwards, because we saw this before in the, the last half case, 
or Tavares, his card's, card was backwards. Again. Yeah. So I wonder if that's just on top's end. For whatever reason, they made Tavares backwards. Because this one looks like a base card as well. They just probably messed up. The machine was like, didn't like Tavares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we will compare that to the Tavares from the last half case. But it looks like it's just a base card. Last pack here of box number four. Hopefully one of these last two boxes has another auto for us. Shohei on the New Age Performers. And Bryce Harper to end our box. You smile every time you find a Shohei in the mm. Dodgers outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, it is awesome to have Shohei oh, yeah. with the Dodgers. I, like, I, I feel I feel bad for all the angel buddies and everything, but, I, I mean, it's like, bro, like, <laughs> Otani is special. Oh, we're going to get another buyback. This one is going to the Padres with Dave Tomlin on the buyback. No, but really with the Dodgers, I can just kind of pinch myself that they have Mookie, Shohei, and Freddie Freeman. Like, all three of those guys are just super, super stars. And I think they, they, they got them all, you know. Two is free agents, and then Mookie on what ended up being a very lopsided trade for the Dodgers with the Red Sox. And then T. Oscars looked pretty darn good so far as well. The late free agent signing. And there's one of the daughters right there, New Age Performers for Mookie Betts. It was just off to a, an incredible start. We're going to have Dodger Angel MVPs this year. I hope so. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty rad. I would not be mad at that. All right, is this going to be a black and white? No, it's just one of the 23 highlights. Shorter print for the 70th steal for Ronald Acuna. Man, if he can get close to 40, 70 again, oh boy. Jeez. Oh, I mean, that, the Braves that probably, the they probably have the best lineup in the National League. Even with that, as good as the Dodgers are, the Dodgers' top five is strong. But the whole lineup for the Braves is just unbelievable. Marcelo's in the six home runs already. Yeah, no, dude, he's got a lot of pop, Ozuna. Is back in the yeah, no, they they are incredible, and then you know, Mikey Harris is going to keep getting better as well. Yeah. Baseball flashbacks, and that looked like that was Carlton Fisk from a very famous home run. Mitch Carver on the low number of short print. That's going to take some getting used to, Zane. Low number of short print is usually a high number for most products. Heritage is like, nah, we're going low number this year. Ooh, we've been mimmed, but it is a, a very good player. Clayton Kershaw on the Clubhouse Collection memorabilia card. Cannot wait to see Kirsch in the second half of the season. Congrats to the Dodgers on that one. <laughs> no, I hope we get it this year. Last season's playoffs, it was it was kind of a down. Aaron Judge on the New Age Performers. It was kind of a downer that we didn't get that Braves-Dodgers yeah, matchup. Dodgers matchup. Yeah. The NLCS, like it, sh it should have been Braves-Dodgers, but... With the, the format of having, you know, a few days off in between the start of the playoffs, I, I feel like it hurts the better teams. Jamison Talion on the low number short print. And, I mean, that's how it looked last year because of the, the teams uh, that didn't play in the wild card. Only the Astros ended up winning their series. The Orioles, Braves, and Dodgers all went down. They, 
they need that that third matchup because the uh, Braves and Dodgers have each beat each other on their way to the their last two World Series. So we need that third matchup, the rubber match. Listed three, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> oh, that's a cool one. And oh my gosh, black chrome to 75. That is a beaut. Ooh. Yankees, you did good. Oh, is it, Jay it is Jason Dominguez oh out of 75. Oh boy. J Dom rookie action, low numbered. That is a good hit for you, Yankees. 61 of 75 on the J Dom. Wow. Oh, That's boy. Massive, yeah, it is. Very nice. Congrats on that, J-Dom. That is the first black chrome that we've seen out of Heritage so far. Uh, then we have Ryan McMahon on the low-numbered short print. Oh, that looks good, man. That black is beautiful. And I do believe this is the black white border variation uh brian de la cruz it is i can't quite zoom in enough for you on it but it does say white border on the variation right here right above the number but the card is black and what's the update on jdom you're supposed to be back in like two months or so because I haven't heard anything new since the season started. But I thought he was supposed to miss like roughly three months. Mike Trout on the New Age Performers. But yeah, if they get him back with the way Volpe is playing right now. Because the Yankees, they are off to a great start. I think it's them and the Dodgers, uh, first two teams with, to ten wins. Connor Joe on the low number short print. But the daughters did have that two-game head start on everybody. White border for Brian Bello. Going out to the Bow Sox there. One photo autos have hit the market. <laughs> oh, for the Yankees? Yeah, two real ones. Red ink are already on there. Then and now for Palmer and Valdez. They have a mystery auto redemption in this product. Oh really? And yeah. All right. It's on. Uh, it's on the uh, eBay redemption card. Congratulations! You are due to receive a Dave, mystery autograph. Uh, David Bednar on the low number short print. From Tops Heritage Baseball. That is interesting. Because yeah, instead of a, instead of a hidden gems, they have a mystery auto. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Hopefully, we can run into one of them, and we will reveal it for the people. I'd like to solve that mystery. Oh, George Brett's got autos in this too. Oh, oh dude, that's so sick. Low number short print for Jonathan India. And our white border is going to the Guardians with Gabriel Arias. the Vietnam War on the insert. And our next low number short print is going to the Twins with Pablo Lopez.
last pack here of box number five. Corbin Carroll on the New Age Performers. And that is it for box five. All right, box six, can you give us one more auto? Our buyback is going to the Padres with Dave Hilton. So the Padres got two buybacks in this six boxer. Sean Manea on the short print, low numbered short print. And our white border is going to Connor Joe. So I do believe we got the low numbered short print and the white variation for uh, Connor Joe in this six boxer. Clayton Kershaw on the New Age Performers. Low number short print going to J.P. Crawford. And that is an image variation for Shohei as well. Ooh. So very nice. Dodgers. Yeah, Shohei Otani on the image variation. I was like, that picture fun. looks a little different. So very nice hit here for the Dodgers. Oh, good, good old Shohei. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, there's so few Dodger Shohei cards on the market. Robin Yount on the baseball flashbacks. Zach Gallen on the low number short print. So, come on, box. If you can give us one more auto... You are a mighty fine box with that image variation of Shohei and black chrome for Jadon. Like those two cards, not too shabby. Justin Steele on the New Age Performers. Oh, Jeremy just found another one of the short prints. Who was it this time? A Quinn Priester image variation. Uh, Quinn Priester on the image variation for the Pirates. Anthony Santander on the low numbered short print. Not bad there, though. We've been mimmed, but it is reigning NL Rookie of the Year, Corbin Carroll on the mim. With a little chunk of lumber in there for Corbin. So congrats to the D-backs on this one. So it was the same count in uh, both our half cases where we got five mims and one auto. Oh, man, the Orioles. Oh, man. 
Holden Kowser on the Chrome card to 575. 348 of 575 for Colton Kowser on the rookie Chrome. So there you go, O's. We got Jordan Westberg and Colton Kowser in this same six boxer. Hey, uh, <laughs> you didn't see that J-Dom, Jordan? Man, you're going to have to rewind the video on that one. Or just wait a minute, because we're about to do a recap. George Kirby on the, the low number short print. Oh, you're very welcome, Joe. Uh, you did very good with the O's and uh, both, both these half casers. O'Neill Cruz on the white border. Manny Machado on the New Age Performers. John Gray on the low number short print. Yeah, they did a very good job this year with Heritage. The chromes do look fantastic. And the, the image variations or position swaps are much easier to find than in years past. Speaking of which, let's check this Sandy. Edward Julian on the low number short print. Adley Rushman on the New Age Performers. A little bit extra for your O stack. Kyle Freeland on the low number short print. And last two packs. Come on, Heritage, you have one more treat for us. Another? We shall see. Another? Do we have any last pack magic in this six boxer? Betamax. <laughs> That's a short for sure. <laughs> that is a flashback to old technology. All right, that is going to do it. Uh, give us two seconds for a recap. There you go, my man. Thank you, thank you. Hits, uh, the buybacks, all the variations, the whites and the black borders, and chrome. And we're going to start with our ink, but uh, I just wanted to get him front and center for you, Jordan, before we... We get to the numbered part of the recap. Yeah, that is a Purdy J Dom to 75 on the black chrome. Oh boy. All right, we shall start with our, our one autograph and then our five mims. The only ink we found in this uh, six boxer was Jordan Wicks going out to the Cubs. Not numbered on that one. And then on the mim side, we got Corbin Carroll, 
Clayton Kershaw, Blake Snell, Justin Verlander, and Tristan Casas. And then for our buybacks, Dave Hilton, Dave Tomlin, Doc Ellis, and Tim Johnson. And now we shall get to our numbered stuff. I mean, if we, we could leave it up here all day. The JDOM to 75 on the black chrome. Such a uh, beautiful card. And then the O's hits. Yeah, you did pretty good, Joe. Uh, Jordan Westberg to 375. And then to 575 on the Colton Kowser. Paul Goldschmidt also to 575. And then our loan chrome to 999 going to the Braves with Austin Riley. And then uh, some of our variations. We got the Anthony Rizzo, and it is the nickname variation. It is Tony. And then Shohei Otani on the image variation. Quinn Priester on the image variation as well. And then Kyle Bradish on the black and white. So a little extra for your O stack. <clears throat> and we'll we'll go through the box toppers. Two box toppers. Uh, Willie McCovey also going to the Padres. And Dennis Eckersley going to the Guardians. So not the two teams you think of. And then our white border, O'Neill Cruz. Connor Joe, Brian Bello, Gabriel Arias, JP Martinez, Kyle Schorber, Christian Yelich, Beto, Hernandez, Carlos Santana, Blake Rutherford, Michael Soroka, and then uh, white border variations, but these two are black, Ozzy Albies, and Brian De La Cruz. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, we are breaking Heritage all day, so come back to the channel for our break number three. Uh, is it at 12 o'clock? I'm looking right now. Yeah, 12 p.m. Uh, so we'll be back in about 15 minutes for break number three. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful day, and we will see you again soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Yeah, it doesn't seem to pinwheel when it's done. No, it takes a few seconds. No, no, but you can see the video is stopped because I yeah, haven't moved. There's, yeah, uh, there's just an 8 to 10 second delay as well. There's no Ethernet cable spot on this laptop. Damn. No, that, that's how a lot of laptops.